We're almost done for the module. We worked a lot with images in this module, do you remember? Now one popular form of images or icons is SVG for scalable vector graphics. Now SVG is a topic for its own. You can dive very deep into it and there are whole courses diving just into SVG graphics. Attached to this video, you find three files for SVG graphics we can add to our key features area of our main page. If you go to the main page, I'm talking about these circles here. Now let's enter the first SVG graphic inside of the key feature image container. Simply copy the SVG code into there. And yes, it's quite a lot, but you can use it in line like this. Browser support for this is very decent. Now let's do the same for the two other SVGs you can find attached to this video here. Let's grab the second one and enter it into the second key feature image container. And let's also do that for the third. And depending on your IDE, you can always simply reduce that so that the content still is there but doesn't occupy your entire HTML file. If you do that and you reload, you see the icons are added, but actually they're a little bit too big. Now you can style SVG too. This is exactly what I want to do with you now. However, we will not dive into the depths of styling SVG, because as it turns out, you can even select the SVG elements themselves and start styling these. So you could go in there and start styling the colors of the SVG lines and so on by overwriting that fill color here. This is something a bit more advanced and more related to SVGs than CSS. Therefore, what I want to do is I'll go to the main.css file and there let's scroll down to our key features area. Now we got that key feature image part here and let's simply add a padding in there of let's say 20 pixels. Now if we do that and we reload, this looks much better. Now to still give you an idea of how you could style SVG though, let's use the developer tools and let's select an element here. As you can see, we can select the individual parts of that SVG image. For example, that orange branched line here. Now as you see, the style here is set with inline styles. Because I didn't create these SVGs on my own, I got them from an external source and there they were exported like this. We can still overwrite this either with the important mark or anyways here in the developer tools. And what I want to show you right now is just that we got some extra properties there. Most importantly, the fill property, which defines how this element is filled, but also the stroke property to add an extra stroke, maybe black. Now you see there's a tiny black stroke around this orange line. You can also add a stroke width property to set it to, let's say, 10 pixels so that we can clearly see it here on the left. This is just a brief introduction to how you can style CSS. Fill and stroke are the most important properties there. You could translate them kind of with background color, border color and border width. However, if you want to learn more about this, at the end of this module, you'll find an article which dives a bit deeper into this. Again, a dedicated SVG course is what you should be looking for if you want to dive deeper into styling SVGs. For now, this style should do. And I have to say, I like the look of our page already. This looks awesome. We greatly enhanced it over the course of this module with all these background styles, with all these images, and now also these SVGs. And with that, I'd say, let's just move on and let's keep on improving this project further.